Have you ever experienced a beautiful snowfall on a chilly mountain like Mount Baker or Mount Rose? Snow is arguably one of the most celebrated naturally occurring substances in the world. At times, it serves as a harbinger for transformation by covering everything in a pristine white sheet as if it were about to give everything a fresh start, a new beginning. On other occasions, it's used to depict the wide range of human emotions in literature and poetry. If anyone utters the word, snow, there's a good chance that the first image in your mind is of snow-capped mountains or perhaps fluffy, white celestial particles falling from the sky in the winter. Have you ever wondered why this stunning natural phenomenon? Technically speaking, the snow falling on mountains and other cold regions is actually just frozen water. It is formed of tiny crystals of frozen water and looks a bit like small pieces of cotton. A snowflake is an ice crystal, or an amalgamation of ice crystals, that falls to the earth from the atmosphere boasting a variety of shapes, such as hexagons, stars, flowers, needles and more. Freshly fallen snow also reflects more than 90% of the sun's heat back out into space. Due to solar heating, there is a continuous evaporation of water from rivers, lakes, ponds etc. Now, it is important to note that water vapor is lighter than atmospheric air. On account of its low weight, water vapor rises higher in the atmosphere and transforms into clouds. Now, you likely learned at school that as we go higher in the atmosphere, the temperature decreases. On the other hand, the capacity of air to hold water vapor decreases as temperature decreases. At a certain height, the air becomes overloaded with water vapor. Air that is teeming with water vapor and moisture is said to be in a supersaturated state. Under this state, the water vapor condenses on the smoke and dust particles mixed in the air. Upon further cooling, it turns into snow particles. These particles combine with each other to form snow crystals. When the air cannot bear the weight of these particles, they fall to earth as snowflakes and form a blanket of snow on those regions with high enough altitude. Snowfall is incredibly important for our ecosystem. When it melts in the summer, the water flows down to the rivers and other water bodies. This water is then used for irrigation and basic consumption. Snow also happens to be a bad conductor of heat, due to the trapped air inside it. Thus, it acts like a warm blanket for the earth. This allows both the plants and animals endemic to snowy regions to adapt to the cold environment. Dormancy, seasonal dieback and the survival of seeds are just some of the adaptive mechanisms for plants, whereas animals use techniques like hibernation, insulation, and the storing of feedstock during warm weather to adapt and thrive in snowy areas. Humans residing in snow-prone areas often make their houses out of the snow, as it provides surprisingly good protection against cold weather.